Roland GR GS500 Paraphonic Guitar Synthesizer System was introduced in 1977 and it laid the foundation for the very successful Roland Vintage 24-pin guitar synthesizers like the GR300 and GR700 that would follow a few years later. The GR GS500 uses the same 24-pin cable as the later synths and many of the control voltages, string outputs, etc. are the same across all the synthesizers. The different systems are not 100% compatible, but can be engineered to work together with a few modifications. The GR500 has five sections, guitar, poly ensemble, bass, solo melody, and external synth. This approach of incorporating different sound elements into one large system was not uncommon in the 1970s. At the same time the GR500 Paraphonic Guitar Synth was released, Roland was making the RS505 Paraphonic String Synth, which combined strings, polysynth, and a bass section. The term paraphonic was invented by Roland as a shorthand for parallel plus phonic. The GR500 has a useful output matrix with three separate outputs plus one mix output. Each section can be freely assigned to any one of these three outputs. In addition, there is an input for an external synth so that external synthesizers could be added to the GR500 matrix. There are two versions of the GR500 distinguished by a six pin jack or pitch offset knob on the back of the GR500. All GR500s have quarter inch interfacing jacks for connecting the GR500 to external control voltage synthesizers with positive and negative gate control voltages and a pitch output. The early GR500s also included a six pin DIN output for easy single cable connection to expansion synths. On later GR500s, this was replaced by a tuning offset knob that enabled the solo melody section of the GR500 to be detuned slightly from the other sections. In the early version of the GR500, the portamento function affects the external synth output only and in the later version, it affects the solo synth melody section as well.